Hi, my name is Tara Vaughn and welcome to the Iona Spotlight. We are here today with Professor Donna Rama, who is a part of the Fine and Performing Arts Department here at Iona College. He has founded the theater program and the theater ensemble here at Iona. So, I'm hearing so many things about your play coming up okay. in November. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, Therese Rakim. Mm -hmm. It yes. is a very well-renowned play. Yes. And yes. I just wanted to know what inspired you to choose Therese Rakim here for this semester. Oh, uh, well, I always try to find very challenging pieces uh, for my students because they always rise to the occasion. Um, so a couple of years ago, maybe last year, mm -hmm. on Broadway, I saw uh, a version of this with uh, Kira Knightley. Mm -hmm. And I said this would be really excellent to bring to the students. Um, it's got amazing characters. It's mm -hmm. got an uh, incredible story. Um, and these are things that the students can really sink their teeth into. So I said, this is going to be, um, if not my next production, um, you know, it's going to be on my schedule. And I was fortunate to, enough to have the students um, come out and, um, you know, they're doing a great job with it. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy with my choice and my, uh, my selection of students. Right. So yeah. when you saw it on Broadway, mm. what did you integrate from that production into this production here? Well, the production on Broadway was um, uh, quite different. It, they have a, a scene in um, the Broadway production where you actually see the death of one of the main characters, where the, one of the main characters actually gets pushed off a boat and gets thrown into the river, right? So that is actually mm -hmm. seen on Broadway, which is incredible. Um, you actually yeah. see a, a lake on Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, this is a different version. So I'm challenged by the space that I have in the auditorium. So how can I bring the power and the um, suspense and the excitement of mm -hmm. the Broadway production to Iona College? Mm -hmm. So I read a couple of translations and this translation that I'm using doesn't have that scene, but it is still extremely powerful and suspenseful and poignant and it does the job um, and uh, it fits very well into the auditorium and, and what we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you consider Therese Rakin a scientific story? Because I've heard mm. about, um, I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but just like the whole haunting and like the spookiness aspect of it. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it, it takes place in the 1860s and that's on the precipice of realism in the theater. That's when realism in the theater really caught fire in the world. So mm -hmm. realism in the theater didn't really focus on the supernatural. You know, right. ghosts and people coming back to haunt people was kind of uh, not really um, a function in realism in the mm -hmm. theater. So this is sort of on the borderline of, you know, non-realism and realism, and I, and I kind of like that aspect. Um, it is a little bit of um, science fiction. It, it has that aspect of, you know, ghostly specters coming in and, and haunting these people that did very um, dirty deeds. Uh, so I would say it's, it's a murder mystery. It's a suspense um, lifetime movie almost. Mm -hmm. um, and it has a lot of elements of the supernatural. So I think it's got a lot of um, things for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, and um, just about characters, mm. so Therese's character is very dynamic mm -hmm. and she has so many internal battles of her own. Yeah. So I wanted to know, what did you look for when casting Therese? Well, the, the character is really multifaceted. She comes across in the beginning as very um, meek and demure, mm -hmm. uh, but then when she is with her lover, Laurent, she is very bold and and brassy and, mm -hmm. and very um, strong. So I needed a, a, an actress that could play both. And I found that in my actress, uh, Claire, who's been with me for many productions now. She played um, Oedipus's wife in Oedipus the King. Um, she was Laura in The Glass Menagerie. So I knew she could play Laura, who is very meek and humble. And she can also play um, somebody who is extremely strong and powerful. So mm -hmm. Therese has the the best of those both worlds and Claire is doing a dynamic job in in playing both of those sides. She's mm -hmm. an amazing actress. Very uh, fortunate to have her in this production. Mm -hmm. 
And I know Camille is not the main character mm -hmm. of the show. Right. But I wanted to know, do we like Camille? Do we pity Camille? What, like, what do we think of him? Camille comes off as a really a spoiled brat in mm -hmm. the beginning. He is, for lack of a better term, a, a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. uh, she, he's been coddled by the mother. Um, he's a sickly individual. Um, I don't know if he's a hypochondriac <laughs> or if his mother has just been really overbearing in his life that he's uh, a very physically weak person. Mm -hmm. But we have to feel for him because right. he is a nice person. He's a good guy. Um, he comes across as a little, you know, bratty, a little spoiled, but deep down he's... Like everybody else, he's looking to be loved, and yeah. he's looking to find love mm -hmm. and companionship. And he hopes he has found it in Therese, mm -hmm. um, but we find out that Therese has her um, alternative uh, and ulterior motives. Yeah. Right, and with those alter ulterior motives, that includes love and passion with another. And I wanted to know how love ties into this whole play as a whole. <sighs> well, you know, if we're looking at one of the deadly sins, you know, it's it's more of not love, but it's more of lust, mm -hmm. where Therese is looking for love, but she really finds um, an incendiary love affair with Laurent, mm -hmm. um, and it turns into a deadly um, affair um, that she can't escape. Um, it's a lust that consumes both Therese and Laurent. Mm -hmm. uh, L Therese is looking for an escape. She finds it in her lover, Laurent, which is also Camille's best friend. Um, and this affair consumes them both in ways that they could not have imagined. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say it's, it's love, but it's definitely lust that turns into... Uh, well, it turns into, it's it, not hate, but it turns into something very dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and um, Laurent, he seduces Therese, when, would you say? I would say he seduces Therese, but I would say Therese wants to be seduced. Mm -hmm. Therese is looking for that love affair that Camille does not provide. Mm -hmm. They have, Camille and Therese, have an arrangement where she's basically his caretaker. She sleeps in his bed, but that's about the most physical contact that they have. She's looking for that contact. She's looking for that passion. Um, Laurent comes back into town, comes back into the life of Camille and Therese, and has that passion, has mm -hmm. that fire that Therese is longing for. So the seduction is mutual. And mm -hmm. Laurent doesn't have to do much to seduce <laughs> Therese because <laughs> Therese is, is ready and willing for somebody to light that fire in her life, and, and he provides it. Mm -hmm. And with all this passion, since that is definitely a main part in this play, how are you going to execute the passion into the show? Well, the passion is um, not implied. It is physical. The actors of uh, that are portraying Camille and Therese have to be very physical. Mm -hmm. They lust after each other. It's it's a burning passion, mm -hmm. and um, that is seen in the play. It's not um, explicit. We um, respect the actors' <laughs> boundaries, uh, which you must do, because to get the actors to that place of feeling passion, you must be in a place of comfort, mm -hmm. the comfort zone. So we do see passion, we do see physicality, and um, it ex it's expressed in, in the way that, you know, they look at each other, they hold mm -hmm. each other, they embrace each other. So it doesn't have to be explicit, but it has to be focused, concentrated, and um, very, um, very committed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And finally, which aspect of this play are you most excited for viewers to see? Gosh, there's so many aspects. Um, I just want people to come out and see the amazing work that the students are doing and the hard work that they're putting in. We're rehearsing every day now for mm -hmm. three to four hours per day. And I, I want the 
the audience to really see the good work that they're doing. I always tell my actors that, you know, this is the hard part, but when you're on stage and after the production, you will see the gratification, you will see the, um, the audience giving you the adulation that your work has produced. Well, thank you so much, thank Professor you. Dharam. It was such a pleasure to have you here in the studio likewise, today. Likewise, likewise. Um, so, Therese Rakin opens in Dorley from November 17th to November 20th.